Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This is a um, solving resistance. We're working with a series circuit here and we're going to be solving resistance. Now, I know it seems like we solve resistance every time we work with a series circuit, but in this case we have one resistor that we haven't been given the information about and so we need to solve for that piece. So it's a little bit different than the questions that we've seen so far because we're not just going to total up our resistances to solve for the resistance. So we have to take a different approach here to deal with this. And one of the things when you're, when you're not given the straightforward information is you look at the pieces of information that you do have and try to see what you can solve from that. So one thing we do have is total voltage. Another thing we have is total current. So we know our total current is 2.5 milliamps. And I also want you just to notice that I've drawn the current here going opposite to the way I normally do, which is from negative to positive. And as I said, I think in my init the initial video, it doesn't really matter which way you draw it. You still work out the circuit the same way. In reality, it goes from negative to positive, but we still do the calculations in the same way. Uh, okay, where were we? Total current, 2.5 milliamps. We also have total voltage. So since we have voltage and current, we can solve for the total resistance in the circuit. So we know that E equals IR. And if we're going to solve for the total resistance, we can say, all right, let's divide both sides by I and that will give, our, give us our total resistance. So then RT equals total voltage over total current. 45 volts is our total voltage and our current is 2.5 milliamps. So we take 45 and divide it by 2.5, and because it's milli, which is 10 to the minus 3, we go exponent negative 3 equals. And we end up with, as you can see, 18 times 10 to the 3, which is 18 kilohms. So we end up with 18, let's go 18.0 kilohms. That's our total resistance here, all right? 18.0 kilohms. Now, since you found the total resistance, you can find R2. So then we can say R2 equals R total minus R1 minus R3. We'll just subtract those two other resistors, right? So we end up with 18 kilo ohms for our total minus these two which is minus 3.3 kilo ohms minus 5.6 kilo ohms. R2 equals, well, since they're all kilo ohms, I'm just going to put the 18 minus the 3.3 minus the 5.6. 18 minus 3.3 minus 5.6 equals. 9.1. So R2 is 9.1 kilo ohm. So 9.1 kilo ohm. So now, let's just move on to the next page. I'm going to transfer this information. That's 18 kilo ohms. 2.5 milliamps, which we've been given and 9.1 kilo ohm. Now just as we did in the other circuits prior, we're going to solve the information. For voltage 1, we can use E, or I should say IR. Our current is 2.5 milliamps. 
and resistor 1 is 3.3 kilo ohms. So we have 2.5 exponent negative 3 times 3.3 exponent 3 equals 8.25 volts. Voltage 2, again IR, which is simple, right? 2.5 milliamps, R2 we've solved for 9.1 kilohms equals. So 2.5 exponent negative 3 times 9.1 exponent 3 equals. 22.75 22.75 volts and voltage 3 equals again IR 2.5 milliamps times 5.6 kilohms 2.5 exponent negative 3 times 5.6 exponent k which is 3 equals 14 14 volts so 8.25 volts 22.75 volts 14 volts now all of these voltages have to add up to what? They have to add up to the total voltage. If they haven't, we've made a mistake. Or I have made a mistake. So I already have 14 in my calculator. I'm just going to add 22.75 plus 8.25 equals. Happily, it equals 45. And that's exactly the way it should be. The voltage drop across the battery has to equal the voltage drop, well actually, that's a little backwards. The voltage drop across these three resistors has to equal the voltage drop across the battery. And it does, so we're good. Now, last page, let's solve for power. Again, I'm just going to transfer this information, 18.0 kiloohms. 2.5 milliamps, 9.1 kilo ohm, oops, 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 that's a 1, 8.25 volts, 22.75 volts, and 14 volts. All right, power 1. EI is simple, so let's go with that for this one. EI voltage for 1 is 8.25 volts, and the current is 2.5 milliamps. For power 1 equals 8.25 times 2.5 exponent negative 3 equals 20 point, let's go with 20.63, 20 20.63 20 milliwatts. Power 2, again, EI equals... So we have 22.75 volts times 2.5 milliamps equals 22.75 times 2.5 exponent negative 3 equals 56.88. And that's milliwatts. Power 3. 
This time I'm going to use I squared R just to remind us that we can do that. Current is 2.5 milliamps and that's squared multiplied by the resistance which is 5.6 kilo ohms. So in this case we take 2.5 exponent negative 3 and then we square it and that's multiplied by 5.6 exponent 3 equals and we have 35 milliwatts. So power 1, 20, is that right? 35? Yeah, it is right. 20.63 milliwatts. Power 2 is 56.88 milliwatts. And power 3 is 35 milliwatts. Now what we're going to do is solve for power total and I always like to do that by using uh, total voltage times total current. That way you check and you go and you find out if you're actually on the right track with your calculations. Total voltage is 45 volts. Total current is 2.5 milliamps which equals 45 times 2.5 exponent negative 3 equals 112.5 milliwatts. So 112.5 milliwatts and that's what actually goes here. So that's our total power. Now I always check by adding these three powers up to make sure that they equal my total power. If they haven't, I've made an error. So 20.63, and I'm just going to add up the numbers because they're all milliwatts, plus 56.88, plus 35 equals, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. 112.51 milliwatts. That's close enough, so we've done a good job here. And that's solving for a circuit when you have an unknown resistance. Have a good day and take care.